plodding through France, just avoiding all of the toll roads and the motorways and we're just doing the back roads, just going through the little towns and villages. It's just awesome. I will say though, people that moan in the UK about speed cameras, there are so many of those. They are everywhere in France, especially on the back roads. They even have them in housing estates. So speeding is not really an option. Germany, you're fine. You get on the autobahns, you can do whatever you want. But in France, no. You've just got to be really careful. If you do get flashed by one of those cameras, you will get a fine through the post. So you won't get away with it. The locals just don't care, do they? Overtaking, overtaking on blind bends. They don't give a rat's ass, they're not asked. No more off-roading. Bloody sat now. This sat now has took me down more little green roads and dirt tracks than I ever did on my V-Strom and I'm doing it all on the Nikon the Nikon has turned into an off-road machine I think I should have come on the Vosges rally shouldn't I go on do you want to try and I'll, I'll see if I can do it because I reckon I reckon you'll get past that and then you get past that van because the feel looks alright, doesn't it? We're not getting past that. Yeah, I don't think I'm taking mine up there. I'd wait there, mate. Right in the middle of the road. If they move over a little bit, you might be able to get past. Where are you going? You can't get through that end. Just, you have to just wait. Let's turn it round. Yeah, well, shit happens. Going left here. A tractor blocking the road. Part of the adventure though, isn't it? Part of the adventure, getting lost. Going down stupid roads, getting blocked by bloody cars and tractors. And then in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Wow, they're not messing with those diggers. So we're a third of the way into a quite a big riding day. I think it's about 350 miles or something today. Doesn't seem a lot when you say it like that, but it's about five, six hours riding and that is not including your stop. So quite a long day. So there'll be quite a few leg stretches had today. Faffy, see Faffin again. More off-roading on the Nikon. The Nikon off-roading as per.
looking at where we are we are 72 kilometers outside paris hopefully we'll be all right hopefully we'll not be riding straight through some sort of riot well that'd be pretty bad wouldn't it this is absolute mental so the sat nav has taken us to paris very nice of the sat nav which means we are now in this traffic chaos it is absolute mental and people on bikes scooters whatever they just ride like they've all got death wishes i'm trying to be quite i don't know chilled out with my riding but my god some of these are flooring the nuts out of their bikes in and out of traffic swapping lanes like you wouldn't believe like they're in a bloody race and it is mental absolutely mental we're all right we're all right it's only night time where they're like petrol bombing everybody you're all right right that's it when in france One in France, let's just go full French. Full French, just kind of, I think they expect it. One in France. Oh my god. Which tunnel did Princess Diana get killed by the Queen? Sorry, I mean, which. Which tunnel did she have her accident? I mean, not where she was murdered. Interesting. the leaning tower of Pisa do you know why? because that's in fucking Italy get that in you but look you can see some kind of building over there and some kind of building over there and some other kind of building over there well absolute chaos that is French traffic yeah I've had enough of that today has been a grueler only 350 miles ish but Taff was whinging all the way so especially after we did about 150 miles started to ache a little bit so it did drag on a bit especially as having comms <laughs> I was getting it all in my ear it's like touring with Victor Meldrew. I can't believe it. But the roads were brilliant. I've enjoyed myself. It's, it, it's been a nice ride apart from his whinging and moaning. But we've got here. We're in Normandy and it is like seven o'clock now. So we've been riding from nine o'clock through to seven o'clock checking in. We've had some stops on the way, of course, but we've got here. Now it's time to go and get a beer. But I'll show you the room first. We've got this little garden bit outside. We've got the Tafelpotamus in the same outfit he's had on all week. He's only brought one t-shirt and one pair of shorts, I think. <coughs> yeah. Scruffy I bastard. Am. Sponsored I by am. Cat's Gym. Yeah, I am. I'm scruffy, but I'm that cool. And a taste of okay. the so, so, yeah, shite. just a very, very small room. Ignore him, whinging. All he does is whinge. Two oh. twin bed. Bathroom, practical, sink, walk-in shower, toilet. 
it's pretty much standard, isn't it, wherever you go. But it is what it is. This has cost us uh, 40, £44 each. Not bad. Anyway, going for a beer. We've been here about 10 minutes. The heavens have opened. Absolutely pouring down. Definitely glad we got here when we did. 10 minutes later, we'd have been stuck in that. It's morning, just woke up. Got showered. I still feel half asleep though. Um, we're in Normandy. It was awful last night. Weather-wise, was just absolutely pouring down all night. But lovely blue sky at the minute. So we're going to get some breakfast and then we're going to head off and uh, have a look around the town, see what it's all about. Place I've always wanted to go, um, especially have a look around the memorial stuff, all of the World War II stuff. So that's going to be quite interesting. So go on, we'll have a look around together. In today's issue of faffing with Taffy, we are still faffing. See, sometimes you've just got to jump on your bike, start the engine, and it might speed him up a touch. What is brilliant, though, is he has no patience. So whilst he's always the one that I'm waiting for, if on a rare occasion he's ready and I'm not, all you get is, come on, come on. He just, he can't stand doing nothing. It's very funny. Very entertaining as well. So yeah, nice little place this in Normandy. Okay, so when you're riding around Normandy, especially like where we've just stayed in this little village, it's just very similar to riding around North Wales. Very green, loads of fields, loads of trees. The roads are very narrow, not a lot going on really, until you hit one of the bigger places. So we're heading to one of the bigger places now. I want to see all the memorial stuff. I think it's only fair, go to somewhere like here, you've got to pay your respects. Right. So behind me is one of the beaches at Normandy and we are at the Garden of the Missing and it is absolutely heartbreaking when you see the amount of crosses that are there. It does bring a tear to your eye. Taken back a bit really. Yeah, I'm struggling for words. So we've had a look around the Garden of the Missing and it, it's just messes with your head a little bit when you consider each one of those crosses represents a fallen person from the armed forces and each one is a life lost and it's, it's just crazy when when you're looking at it it really is heartbreaking i've not done any filming around the the grave stones i didn't think that was right I have had a little look at it from the air, I've had the drone up, so just have a look at the drone footage and you can see the, the size of it.
this is probably a really good place to just end the tour there. We're going to start heading back to the UK now and yeah, I suppose this ends it. On, on a sad note, to be fair, but it's nice to come here and pay some respect to the people that lost their lives for us. So on, on that sad note, I will catch you on the next one. See you later.